Well, howdy guys, welcome back. It's time for another episode, and it's episode number 12. Uh, we're done with our transit hub for the moment, more or less, and I've actually added quite a few new lines off camera. Uh, a few new bus lines, um, quite a few new tram lines. Still have lots to do with that, but I uh, just thought we'd just get the episode rolling in that sense. And guys, I totally gone done and goofed, like... I'm so embarrassed, I can't even believe this happened. So in the last episode, and I didn't even realize it, and I had one of those like weird, like I kind of realized it, because I was like, how do we have it? Like when I placed that, like I think a mini alarm bell went off, but I basically was tinkering around before I um, recorded the last episode. And unfortunately, the um, uh, I was using mods when I was doing that. And when I opened this city, even though I had the mods disabled, for some reason, I think one or two of them just somehow carried over. Oh, there's a facility that's full. So unfortunately, I unlocked all of these things. Same with all of those. So, I mean, it's just frustrating. Same with the milestones. Like, totally not my intention at all. But now we have, like, all the milestones unlocked. So that's really... I mean, it's good because, you know, like... We got stuff we can work on a little bit faster than if we were to unlock it, but we have things like the airport and stuff already. So, I don't know. I hope you guys aren't really upset with that. I mean, at this point, it's not like we really can go back and fix it. I would have to, like, essentially read you the last episode, which, I mean, seems kind of pointless at this point. Um, so, I just kind of want to roll with it. Like, I don't want it to kill our, our jive or anything or, like, you know, jive our style. So, uh, yeah, I mean, let's just... I, I don't see why not. Let's just have some fun with it, right? So, I mean, you guys let me know. I mean, I do in the sense want to kind of keep the milestones almost going like i want to pretend like we're still on this trek right here so i'd rather not use this stuff until we actually have unlocked it so i mean we'll, we'll wait off on the um airport at the very least but i don't know i have kind of mixed emotions but i still want to continue with the city obviously i don't want it to kill like the style like i was saying or the jive or jive or style or put us in a funk or anything it's just a little bit frustrating that's all okay well like, like i said let's just not let it kill us let's just jump right into it I thought for this episode, what we could do was just some good old-fashioned um, construction, get our city a little bit bigger, maybe add in some parking lots, beautification, just that kind of stuff. Keep an eye on services. Just make sure everything is not falling apart here. We've had a little bit of tunnel vision, just been working more or less on um, a lot of transit-themed stuff, which is not a bad thing at all. Just gotta make sure we're just not neglecting the rest of the um, rest of the city here. And we're using a lot of these parks. I like that. Kind of keeps the uh, almost like we have a theme of these going. Very nice to get. There we go. Pathway underneath here. In a perfect world, maybe even like that. And then we can try for something, say, like this over here. It's a shame we can't put down any benches or anything like that, but that's okay. Drop down some trees. Just do a little bit of beautification. I slowly, progressively want to work at filling in these middle areas here. We've been kind of tackling that here and there. And I think we progressively, yeah, work on it. Just, once you fill them in, it looks a lot nicer, I think. And especially since we're using that park asset a lot, it, it's cool to see it, that same kind of theme, like, reoccurring through the city. I like that. Like, areas like this, so they're just prime for, like, parks and, like, the, like that kind of stuff. So I don't necessarily want to be just doing this all episode, but I do want to place a few more of these in. Because why the heck not? And then I do uh, just want to do more or less an aggressive push for um, higher population. So we can maybe craft ourselves uh, some new neighborhoods. Okay. And I also changed a little bit of the roads around. Uh, I moved these stops around to try and make things a bit more efficient. We have a lot of traffic going through here now. So I widened the road right here, and I moved one of the stops over to here. And that's how I uploaded it to the workshop, too. And unfortunately, when I uploaded it to the workshop, it's going to be all of that stuff unlocked, too. So it's just, again, I'm a little bit frustrated. So you guys can probably tell about that. But, I um, mean, oh well. Onward and upward, right? Okay, I want to just drop something in over here. And then we'll, yeah, look at services, I think. 
Now, as far as this goes, something like that would work. And I don't, like, I'm not opposed to actually linking to this. I think we should just maybe do a one way. Yeah, that's, that's fine. And that can be high density. I'd be okay with having uh, just some pathways or something go along here. And we could do a bit of a mix, I think, in between high and low density for these spots. That's kind of cool. And maybe just actually a park, a parking lot type thing. Not really a park, more of a parking lot, I should say. Over on that side. Why don't we uh, upgrade that? There we go. Just mix things up a little bit. I like it. And it might seem daunting to just fill all these open areas, especially if we leave it, uh, kind of leave it to the wayside for, for too long. But just, you know, slowly work at it. It's one of those, like, Rome wasn't built in a day type things. But I think it just makes a really big difference overall, especially when you're looking from, like, a, a satellite perspective on the uh, on the city. Alright, well, I think um, just because we now have decided that we want to go this direction with the city, like we did unlock one extra tile, so we can buy one more at this point. So let's go ahead and do that. I think what we should be kind of working on is maybe making the downtown in and around this river area. And we had some requests to work in some canals. I think we could probably do a little canal network through here. Maybe have something come up, make a ring. At the top of the ring, we can do another university campus. And yeah, I mean, it just seems like a shame not to use them. We've unlocked basically like everything. So we can use the Grand Library, we can use like an observatory, we can make ourselves like a hill over here. So there's, I mean, lots of options. But you guys let me know your thoughts on that. I mean, we can progressively wait. We can let the city get a little bit bigger before we use those. We can jump right into it. Totally. I'm, I'm up for, like, I believe in democracy. So like whatever you guys feel is the best is kind of what I'll go with. So you just let me know your thoughts on that. Oh, darn it. Almost had that. I think now actually we can put in some uh, high density here. Put it on three speed just while we're doing this so we can just fill these areas in a little bit faster. And same idea, maybe um, a couple condos or something here. Mix up the type of parking lot we're using. There we go. I like that. And gosh, you know what I was trying out? Just I was like being a little bit romantic. I was just thinking maybe that would be such a nice spot for the uh, for the Eiffel Tower. Or we could maybe work that in with the canals. Oh, that would be so cool. Actually, yeah, if we had the canals around the Eiffel Tower. Ooh. Ooh, maybe that's... Yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts on that. I think that might be something we could totally do. Okay, well, let's um, just work on our population a little bit so that when we are doing stuff in the next episode, at least we have some people moving in. I think we can keep things a little bit simple for the base end of our city. Like, because we aren't buying really any tiles below this, this is essentially how the city's going to just look when we're looking at it from over here, head on. Um, and I want to make it seem like there's an organic kind of feel to the end of the city here. I don't want it just to be an abrupt just stop. So with that in mind, I don't necessarily want it to just be perfect grids falling back into this area here. Maybe we can have kind of like a planned little suburb kind of feel within this corridor. And then over here, we can maybe just drop down some more services and stuff. And actually, let me just tear let services really quickly here. Because I kept saying I was going to do that, but... And actually, why don't we just do an entire city overview? We haven't done that in a while, either. <clears throat> Alright, so electricity is great since we put down the nuclear power plant, which is, I mean, kind of cheating to a certain extent, but, you know, I think we're going in a circle about that. Uh, sewage, we're going to put a new one of these things in. Uh, when we decide to move them, and I think we'll probably do that next episode. We'll move these either just down down the river for the moment, or we can start our own little pond and just kind of make a mountain around it and kind of hide it type thing. Figure that out maybe a little bit later too. Garbage, not too bad. 
Um, I was saying before, and I'll probably say it again, I do want to make an area specifically for some utilities so we can put this maybe over with the power production. Slowly but surely we're getting that together. Um, schooling, I mean, it's great. Nothing really to worry about there. I think we have pretty decent coverage citywide. Definitely new with another university campus, especially when we uh, stretch the city out that way. Otherwise, no complaints. People are generally happy, we know that. And healthcare and death care is pretty decent. Also, no surprise. Levels, I mean, some of the buildings you can see visually, definitely leveling up. Some really, really, really tall ones. And I've had a few comments come in. You guys are saying that your buildings aren't quite as tall. I think maybe, I think we're just maybe getting a little bit lucky here with um, public transportation and the amount of parks and stuff that we're using. Kind of like everything in conjunction will get you to the uh, highest level buildings. Because if I click on these, you can see they are full, you know, full uh, five uh, level five buildings here. Back over to this view. Which is good, means we're doing something right here. Uh, wind speed doesn't really apply to us. Traffic, not too bad at all. And kind of like I was saying in the last uh, episode, I mean, anywhere we see red like this doesn't necessarily mean the traffic's bad, it just means that volume is pretty high here. So you can see in that one light cycle, it's not like anyone's getting left behind, so I think we're okay. A few corridors that are a little busy, and they probably will get busier, but we'll just manage that with public transit and stuff. And then in an effort to help traffic out a little bit, for this part of the road here, I actually got rid of the alternate um, way in up to the uh, tram bridge here, forced trams to go down, and I actually converted this to a tram only um, way through. So if you're a car, now you have to drive a little bit of a um, different route, take the long way or um, access our little bridge thing through here, which is no problem. And I think it helps kind of keep a little bit more of the cars out of here just in general. So. I was noticing that their trams were getting a bit backed up. That was kind of my logic for that. Okie dokie. Moving right along. So pollution, I mean, we know where it is. We know there's a few hot spots. Nothing really, that's not a surprise. Noise pollution, I mean, that could become an issue. You can see wherever we know there's going to be lots of noise, we're trying to avoid putting people in. Or, you know, if people are going down, we're at least using maybe some trees, a park, or some blockers. Um, you know, maybe like some... Uh, offices or something and you can even upgrade the road uh to the tree line roads as a little bit more of a uh, sound buffer just in case you need it and if you're not really keeping an eye on this and um, you are moving people in too close to noisy objects it just affects their health and just strains your you know your services in that sense fire safety we know is pretty darn good uh, fires they're definitely happening all the time i think you know, we could probably use a bigger fire station up here so I'm gonna go ahead and drop that, um, drop that down. Maybe even over there if we're close to the highway. And a lot of this will get reworked just because of, you know, we want to get rid of these, um, these buildings and whatnot. And it looks like there's no way for the police to get access to this. So unfortunately, that was me making a bit of an error here. So I'm just gonna move that over to here. And I just recently moved that before the episode started. So little things like that to keep an eye on. Just for your own cities. Okay, so crime, not bad, even though they're calling for some uh, stuff over there. That's because that building couldn't get uh, access before. It looks like we could use a police station over here. Maybe we can drop one down. This is near the central hub. I think it's kind of cool having some access on that road there. And as a bonus, it's in line with that building, so symmetrically that looks kind of cool too. <clears throat> Okay, so after police, we got our transit. So you can see the new transit lines I placed down. Those are, I still left the original colors. So there's this one here. The new purple line goes through our hub, makes its way up and through the industrial zone over here, and just kind of links up with the bus and the subway a little bit. So you can see I just added um, an area for the trams to turn around. Our metro right there. And you can see our bus stop right in front. So everything working as a nice little team right there. And now that we've seen this one, let's change the color. I just left those like that so we could uh, find them later. And we have a new um, route over here, which I thought was really awesome. And what I did was put a separate uh, set of elevated tracks that run alongside over here. Some of you may have noticed um, we did not have a subway or a metro link kind of going straight down towards the university. Instead, I wanted to get people from this little quadrant down with a um, with a tram. I thought that'd be kind of fun to try and put in. So we have that 
making its way over here. We lost a few of the bike lanes, but not the end of the world. And I moved the bus stops off of here and just forced more over there. So I'm, I'm happy with this. It looks pretty cool. Lots and lots and lots and lots of people using transit. I mean, you can see our numbers. Our population is 21,000. We have like 2,000 or so people using our transit. I mean, it's like 10% of the city, more or less. I mean, that that's fantastic. I think that's kind of the number I was, um, <clears throat> the minimum number I was shooting for when we were talking about transit. So theoretically, the more um, lines we put in and the better the line sharing becomes, the more people in the city will use it. So that's, that's good. Maybe we can shoot for 20%. Who knows? That's very ambitious, though. All right, just a few more of these info views. Let's keep staring at those, and then we can get back to this little construction area down here. And you know, obviously, in retrospect, we probably should have zoned first so that while we were looking at the city, these could be coming in. But you know, hey, actually, no, you just do that now. I sound like a walking contradiction otherwise. So I don't mind having these go straight down like this, just because we're not going to run into traffic lights because the city is basically going to end right here. And what we could do is have a few. Um, Maybe like one or two roads sneak down a little bit through here and just scale down um, in kind of a fun shape. So maybe just to mix things up. Let's try something here. And that's a road that happens to have a uh, bike lane on it. And then we'll connect a few of these up. Avoiding the six lane road just to help traffic in the long run. We'll go down with a few more of those roads, connect a bit more of this up. That'd be awesome if we can get that to work. No, not, not quite. Okay, we'll leave that one uh, not connected. That forces more people to use the avenues. Yeah, it's still cool. And then in terms of this space here, maybe we can put in um, some parks or something. Let's drop that right there. Perfect. Maybe I should bring a new road in through here. Why not? There we go. Before I do any zoning, let's um, just connect up a few of these. And I unfortunately st still have to go through the asset um, editor and, and fix where some of these pathways cut through. Still having those, those issues where we can't snap onto the path that we're looking for right now. But that's I mean, not the end of the world. Just something to be aware of when you guys are using that asset until I fix it. Uh, when I do, though, it'll be an automatic update. So you guys will seamlessly... Just, uh, it'll update whenever you have your Steam open type thing. Okay, so some high density there. I don't necessarily want it to be overly tall at this end, because I want to be looking inward and have kind of density maybe stagger upward a bit. I don't want it to be this, like, like stark, you know, tall, just, like, nothing, and then suddenly condos. I want a few, a few houses here. And some nearby shopping. Be cautious not to go into the roundabouts. Don't have like really any of these. Let's do a high density shopping zone right there. Let's put in some parking lots. Well, that's kind of fun. I like that. All I'm really trying to do for this neighborhood is just not make it too much of a boxy shape. Just have a little bit of fun over here. If you're using some of the, um, the roads, I think, in a nice organic kind of way. And it might end up that we don't uh, fill this area in fully, and which is, you know, totally, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I think maybe over here we could probably put down a few um, schools and stuff, like those kind of services. And then, I again, I'm going to avoid the traffic lights, so we're just going to maybe go like this. Okay. 
Awesome. Okay, well, let's drop down some services and water and this and that. Make sure power and everyone's happy. And I'm just going to buy us a little bit more time just by throwing in one of these really quickly. But this entire network is going to get moved over uh, and we're going to pick a new spot and everything for it. So worry about that next episode. Okay, so back over to here. Uh, I think we're okay. Oop, we're not okay with the pipes. Just need one more on each side. Perfect. I have it on three speed just to encourage people moving in a little bit faster. So university, or sorry, not university, elementary school, a high school. <clears throat> and now we'll just put in some uh, some parks and stuff. The fact that those are off by one, I mean bonkers. So let's get rid of that one and let's put in instead. There we go, a little parking lot, great. Sticking with the classics here. Love it. Oh, I really like that. And we'll just put a few more uh, just generic parking lots in just to help fill the area. Awesome. And the idea, of course, is anyone in a condo needs parking if they get visitors and stuff. So a few parking lots here and there. It makes it seem like maybe the condos are sharing those. And yeah, it just kind of ties, I think, the whole story of the city a little bit more um, more nicely. And I think I want to have a, uh, a pathway go just like that too. Great. Otherwise, traffic looks great. City looks great. Very happy with everything. Maybe a few more services down here. Yeah, some healthcare probably. So we do have a hospital over there. I think we could benefit maybe from, oh, even up here we could use some I guess we really didn't notice that when we were looking through our uh, our, our little uh, list there. Mm. Uncooperative zoning squares on that side, which is not a problem. Uh, let's actually put a clinic over here. I don't necessarily want to make anything too um, oversized. So a clinic plus a um, crematorium over here. Excellent. Just helps spread the coverage around through the city. And then same idea, maybe just a clinic over here, and then we could even have just a crematorium right next to it. Also, totally no problem to do that. And then I think for down here, I'd like a, um, a hospital or something, maybe a bit bigger. Oh, get out of that works. Yes, that fits in there. Maybe a little bit morbid, but I mean, some of you have mentioned that there's you know hospitals and cemeteries close by where you live. I mean, we have the same thing in Toronto. I don't think it's that morbid, you know? Ah, death, you know, it's just, it's part of the game, part of life. What a, what a bleak statement, but just, that's the truth. All right, now, I don't necessarily want to have another road come out like that, but at the same time, that looks pretty darn cool. So, shoot, um, let's try it, and maybe, maybe we can get rid of that if traffic is a little bit backed up, but we'll just do that to help a bit more, but the only thing is now we're waiting for, like, you know, basically six points. No, that's just too crazy, I just talked myself out of it. Instead, I think we're going to have that. I think that makes more sense. And that also makes more sense. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And then I think maybe attached to this, we can have a road that falls in. Yeah, just like that. That kind of helps, I think, with that flow a bit more. Now, it's not 100% flush with uh, these tiles, so maybe we can try that again and just hope for the best. Um, hmm. That's a tough one here, isn't it? Say, if that had worked, then I'd be happy. What can we do here? I guess we'll go with that and hope that it's not overly noticeable once we get some taller buildings here in place. Now, I don't necessarily want to spoil the view into our transit hub, so maybe we can keep this uh, scaled down a little bit. And I think we're going to get some pathways going through here now, too. Fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. 
And then for here, I'm going to have just a row of uh, trees go through. So I think that looks really nice. I'm doing that a lot through the city. You guys have probably noticed that too. You know, why don't we ring the hospital just like that? Oh yeah, that's really cool. Or even better, just fill that in. Perfect. Love it. Yeah, see from overhead, I think the trees and everything just add such a nice little, little bit extra. All right, so now we've got this whole area uh, laid out in a little bit more, which is great. So we can go back to our overhead info views as this fills in. That's quite nice. That actually, yeah, looks almost planned. I think right here maybe could become a big park or something. All right, so where do we end up here? Um, population. Oh, I think we just won. Excellent. We did. Happy people. Uh, you can see our senior population is starting to creep up, so we're going to be getting close to what's called a death wave. And whenever we zone when the game is on pause, um, when we just hit play, a whole wave of people move in at once. And the bulk of them, more or less, are going to be the same kind of age. Or if we set up circumstances like that, they're all going to have kids. Again, more or less at the same age, because they all just kind of arrive to the city at the same time. Uh, when those kids get old, so the next round, more or less, I know this sounds a little bit complicated. So the next round that ages, they're all going to be seniors at the same time. So you get these waves of, um, called death waves, where about a quarter percent of your population or higher um, just suddenly just die off. And that's just basically you can see happening to us slowly right now. So we'll just be aware of it. Don't panic though when it happens. We just might see a negative um, population. And we can track that with our birth and death rate right there. Outside connections, not really worried about that, but this is basically areas here that are importing. But we're not really worried about that right now. That's kind of taking care of itself. Land value is doing well, which we're aware of. Our resources, we've already snuck a peek at those before. Districts, not too many of those. Definitely have to be putting some more of those in. And uh, leisure, same idea. We've got to be working on a little bit more on that. Parks and everything is what helps with that. Obviously, leisure space helps with that too. Terrain heights, not applicable. Heating, haven't been working with that. Road maintenance, we can definitely put a road maintenance vehicle or a road maintenance depot down, and that helps. Um, basically, the road maintenance vehicles will go through and they'll um, allow, like, I'll kind of show you guys. Like, once a vehicle, a road maintenance, ve road maintenance vehicle, is a tongue twister, passes over top of a, a road, the um, speed limit is a little bit faster. So it's kind of a bonus in that sense. So if you want just like a little bit more to kind of work on and... and that kind of stuff. So there those guys go. You can see the citywide coverage more or less. So I think maybe one more at the top of the map would work, but not really worried about that. that was, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of change the pace a little bit for this episode, guys. So we did zone in a few new neighborhoods, which I'm happy with. I like the way those kind of turned out. And we have a few new bus lines. I think it's something that we'll progressively keep on working with, like same with the trams and stuff. I don't necessarily want the entire city to be overrun with trams. You can see it's like already starting to get pretty hectic over here. So more or less, I think maybe this side's full. Maybe we can get like one more line through here, but hopefully having, having it go in the opposite direction. Otherwise, yeah, you know, slowly, slowly but surely we'll go up there. So let me know your comments or let me know your thoughts, sorry, on, um, on using all of this unlock stuff here. I mean, you guys cool with me putting in just the Eiffel Tower right away in the airport and stuff, or should we wait? And kind of pretend like we are still working towards the objectives. And I mean, I just tried to before the episode loaded. I have all my mods and everything turned off for sure, for sure this time. And yet everything's still unlocked just because of the way I, I saved the city last time around. So unfortunately, we're kind of stuck with that. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts. I don't want it to drive the style, like I said. Uh, I know maybe a little bit of a change of pace, maybe a little bit slow for this episode. I don't know what you guys, what your thoughts are on that. But we will get back to some uh, bigger infrastructure projects definitely soon. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts too about whether or not we should maybe make the downtown in and around here. And that would mean that we would make a push for some um, you know, really, really tall buildings, uh, the unique buildings. We could work in the canals and um, make maybe like an old town and like university kind of feel. So yeah, I think we'll do that for next episode. All right, guys, I will talk to you then. All the best. Take care of yourselves and happy building. Look forward to reading the comments. Take care. Mm -hmm.